Welcome back to another Game Banshee Guide. I'm Kelson, and this is a walkthrough of the necessary steps to finish Sons of the Forest. For those of you who don't want any tips on the caves or bunkers, we'll first list each one in the order you should complete them, and show you where they are on the map. The first cave you need to visit is the cave along the northern coast, and you have to acquire the rebreather there. Second, you'll have to go to a cave in the western river area to get the rope gun. Thirdly, head up to the cave closer to the mountain and use your new tools to grab the shovel. 4. Go to Maintenance Bunker A and grab the Maintenance Key Card. 5. Find the Food Bunker in the Northwest, then use the Maintenance Key Card to explore it. Inside you can obtain the VIP Key Card and find out what happened to the CEO and his family. 6. Use the Maintenance Key Card to enter the Entertainment Bunker where you will find the Guest Key Card. 7. Use the Guest Key Card to gain access to the Residential Bunker on the eastern side of the island. Here you will need to open the Luxury Bunker. 8. Head to a dangerous cave in the southwest by a lake. Make sure you come out of it alive and with the golden armor. The ninth and final step is going to the luxury bunker and finishing the game. If you want to try and figure out the details on your own, this is the time to stop the video, but if you need some help with a particular spot, you can always skip ahead to its chapter. For each cave or bunker, we'll give you some advice and things you should look out for, as well as some tactics for certain enemies. If you want detailed guides or require help with some specifics, check out our website in the description. Some of you might want to stock up on supplies before going through these caves. Click the link on your screen to go to our video on 10 good places to load up. One of those places that we feel is important to mention is the abandoned camp here on the map. This is where you can grab the modern axe, which is a good weapon for these first caves. Another thing you want to be sure to do is save before going into each of these caves, as you will likely die. Depending on where you spawn, you can switch doing the first two caves, but the first one is definitely easier. Okay, like we said, the first stop is the Rebreather Cave. As soon as you enter it, you'll want to grab all the items and make sure that you get the location for the entertainment bunker from the laptop. Going deeper in, you'll walk past some floodlights. Eventually there will be one where enemies are lurking in the darkness. You can turn off your light source to sneak past them. At this floodlight, you can go right to get the stun gun or left to get the rebreather. Leaving the cave, the next stop is the rope gun cave. The first open cavern part is hard because there are a handful of mutants. One item you'll want to pick up in this area is the cross. Head deeper in and you'll find an enemy blocking the way. Blow it up with one of the time bombs by it. You can run past the next part till you find the rope gun, then use it to leave the cave. Now that you have the rope gun and rebreather, you can go to the shovel cave closer to the mountain. You'll first use the rope gun when you enter, then the rebreather to navigate the underwater passage. From there, it's a fairly linear path through this cave. At one point, there will be some corpses in the middle of a room with a flashlight attachment. Next to the bodies is a laptop that will give you the location for Maintenance Bunker A. After getting the shovel, you'll backtrack some before an enemy busts through part of a wall to reveal an exit. Upon exiting, head to the newly discovered Maintenance Bunker A. Use the shovel on the patch of dirt to reveal its hatch. Inside, there aren't many enemies, but a lot of good items. You can grab the fireman's axe, the laser sight attachment, the tuxedo, and most importantly, the maintenance keycard. There's also a laptop here for the location of the food bunker, which is our next stop. The food bunker isn't far, and you won't have to use the shovel to uncover it. Instead, you'll use the maintenance keycard to head further in. Along the way, you can grab the crossbow. Then keep going until you find a surveillance room with the VIP keycard. Inside that same room is a laptop showing you where the residential bunker is for later. Use the keycard on the locked doors at the end of the hall to discover what happened to the CEO and his family. A small tip is that you don't have to fight the boss here, you can actually run back the way you came in. Now you can go to the entertainment bunker, whose location you got from the start of the rebreather cave. The entrance isn't far from the big western beach. Once inside, you'll have to use the maintenance keycard to access the main area. The start isn't too difficult to run through, keep going until you're upstairs and inside the nightclub. In the back of the club is where you'll find the guest keycard. This keycard will open the locked door inside the club, where you can get the location for Maintenance Bunker B. You can also use the keycard on the locked door by the club's entrance, which will lead you to the chainsaw and an exit. Finally, you'll head to the other side of the island. This bunker is called the Residential Bunker, and can be opened using the guest keycard. If you can, clear the bunker of mutants as you go because there are a lot of good items in each of the residential rooms, and one of them has a laptop with the luxury bunker's location. After you go through the second level, you'll find a surveillance room and a stairwell. Be sure to interact with the computer inside to open up the luxury bunker. 
you can head down another level to get the gold mask or head back out the way you came to leave. The last cave you'll need to visit is the most dangerous and is in the southwest by a lake. It is a massive cave with lots of enemies, but you shouldn't get lost. Eventually, you'll find a room full of demons. This is where you can snatch up the golden armor. Remember that cross you picked up? You can use it to burn the demons. Close by where you get the armor is a rope that puts you on the path to the cave's exit. Lastly is the luxury bunker in the northeast. Hopefully you remember to open it in the residential bunker. Deeper inside, there will be a living area where you can save, and in the bathroom you'll find a cave that can be opened with the golden armor. From here on out you'll be fighting demons, so keep on the golden armor to reduce the damage they give. We won't go into any spoilers here, but make sure you're prepared for the worst. And those are all the steps for how to complete Sons of the Forest. Keep in mind that this game is in early access, and patches come out with dramatic changes every two weeks. If something isn't right in the guide, check the video's description for updates, because it might be that the devs changed it. Thank you for watching and happy surviving.